Hello, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Tarot and Oracle Deck Review. Um, what do you see? I see. I switched up some of my to-be-done videos, my inventory. I kind of went through it, switched up my crystals. So these are some of the decks that I will be reviewing in the future. But today, thank you for joining me in reviewing the Light Seer's Tarot, which is one of the most popular, used, um, deliciously illustrated tarots, tarot decks um, that as a viewer of tarot readings, I really enjoy. And I was so excited to get my own deck from Poshmark. Um, Poshmark is a site where you can buy or sell new or used items from clothing, shoes, housewares, tarot decks, games, you name it. I'm pretty sure they have it. Um, but this past spring, I bumped up my collection of tarot and oracle decks, and I wanted to share with my audience in a new series because uh, I have a deep appreciation for artists, art, artistry, um, and the symbolism behind the divination tools in tarot and oracle decks. So come on this journey with me. It's not going to be intense. Um, I just want to showcase what's out there on the market, what is used. Maybe if I have a story of how I acquired or why I acquired a certain deck, I'll share that with you. Um, some of the products that I bought do not have a um, guidebook, so I guess you can scan this and get the online version of the guidebook. But um, yeah, this is one of my favorite visually appealing decks that... Um, is on the market. Gosh, I don't even see who the author is. That is sad. I'm going to have to do some research. Am I overlooking it or what? Oh my God, I'm going to have to do some research on this. <gasps> Did I never? No, come on. Did I? Oh, this is a fumble. What the heck? Let me get my little implement. I did go in and organize these. But maybe it got... It's just I haven't used them. I'm not much of a tarot reader. Only for my own personal journey, honestly. I've done one or two messages, videotaped them. Let's see... That's the fool. There's nothing in there. I'm going to have to look up and on the title of this and maybe in the inside I'll have the uh, author or illustrator's name of the Light Seer's Tarot. <laughs> One of the most popular. The Light Seer's Tarot. Wow. Okay, guys. Come on this journey with me. I'm going to... Um, going to... Have you taken the imagery of the card, which I just noticed something like you don't really see when you're watching readings, you don't really see the intricacies of the visual presentation. And I see the seed of life here and I've never noticed it until this very moment. Wow. So I'm going to let you soak up the image. I'm going to say the name of the card and then move on. Okay. Hope you're okay with that. By the way, if you have any decks that you would like me to review, please put it in the comments. And if you enjoy this series, please like the video, subscribe to my channel. I also do, um, I have a, pl a playlist of over 170 videos on crystals in my own crystal collection. So I hope you enjoy that as well. The Fool. The Magician, the High Priestess, she's also on the front of the deck.
the Empress. One of my favorite depictions of the Empress. The Emperor. The Hierophant. I never really saw his expression. Wow, interesting. The Lovers. Beautiful. The Chariot. Strength. I think that's one of my favorites. But why do I... Now I've just realized that's a lamb. I always knew that her face was part that, but I didn't realize that. Hmm. See? The hermit. The wheel. She's wearing a necklace of like gambling dice. Wow, I never even realized that. And if you see my series of manifesting a winning lottery ticket, you know that I have kind of an addiction to gambling. That is funny. Not <laughs> justice. The hanged man. Death, rebirth. And I like that they, this is probably one of the most peaceful or easy to accept cards. Death, Rebirth. Temperance. Look at, he's balancing the sun and the moon. Masculine, feminine. Now I get it. <laughs> Devil. One of the most handsome devils. <laughs> the tower. Look at the squirrel with the nuts. See, I never realized. The star. I like that version of the star. The moon. I know my girl, Gemma at Gemstone Tarot, loves this depiction of the moon. The sun. Judgment. The world. Again, sacred geometry. Nice. Ace of Cups. Excuse background noise. Two of Cups. A cute, uh, I'm recording, guys. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Wow. Hmm. Despondent. I don't know. That word comes to mind. I don't know if that's the correct word, but five of cups. Six of cups. Seven of cups. Well, this is like choices. What do I choose? I have so many options. Where's that hidden snake? Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Rejoice. That's the word that comes to mind for that. Okay. Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. Hmm. Look at that. Two hands making that heart. Interesting. Knight of Cups. Oh, he does have his horse waiting in the background. He 
looks like that singer. Oh, who's the judge on The Voice? I can't remember. Adam something. Yeah. Queen of Cups. King of Cups. Ace of Wands. I love that card. Oops, two of wands, three of wands, four of wands, five of wands, six of wands. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, Page of Wands. I love the movement in that. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. Oh, there's the black cat right in front of her. <laughs> King of Wands. Ace of Swords. I love that one too. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Very like... <laughs> Showing the pain, yeah, that's pretty, pretty amazing, critical. Four of Swords, I like that one. Peaceful Rest. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, look at light bulbs, ideas, research, hmm, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, I never want to see this card in my reading. I mean, five and five of pentacles in general. This isn't a terrible depiction of it, but yeah. Six of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Well, she's got her bird with her, that's for sure. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. And King of Pentacles. Wow. He's got like a wolf with him. Very nice. So that concludes my presentation of the Light Seer's Tarot. I have to look up the author of it, but I hope you enjoyed looking at the imagery a little closer than you what 
what may have normally looked, um, if you were watching just a reading and were not an owner of these cards, um, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what decks you're interested in me reviewing or give me an idea of what your favorite decks. If you're a tarot reader, leave your um, YouTube channel down. Feel free to do that. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.